the global effort to reduce poverty will increasingly depend upon private capital flows and the degree to which DFIs can facilitate greater investment in low and lower middle income countries. Greater transparency is essential because we're talking about the expenditure of public resources. And it's very difficult, if not impossible, to know what DFIs are actually accomplishing with the current level of disclosure. We started this initiative because stakeholders, including DFIs themselves, were seeking to move the transparency debate from one based on principles and high level commitments to one based on a granular definition of what DFI transparency should be. The goal was to identify the key fields of information which stakeholders need, then to define those fields, and then to encourage disclosure in a timely and comparable way across the world's major DFIs. We are um, really grateful for the work that's been done for, the, for this initiative. Um, I, I think it will genuinely help the DFC focus its efforts on collecting and publishing data that really is, is valuable to stakeholders. The more transparent we are, uh, the more trust we do engender with our authorizers as well as with other stakeholders. Measuring impact and publishing the information on an impact is really fundamental to the value proposition of development finance institutions. Public shareholders and taxpayers really need that kind of information in order to figure out where they can get the most impact for their public either capital decisions or uh, replenishment decisions. It's impossible for DFIs to make development impact claims or to make sustainability and human rights and environmental commitments, but then fail to provide the information necessary to assess and monitor those commitments um, and hold DFIs accountable. Any investment by private companies or government entities bear environmental as well as social risks. Past years have shown that projects' outcomes are simply much superior when potentially affected communities are well-informed and have their say on these projects. DFIs must make sure that they have in place accountability mechanisms so that communities can report back through them throughout the life of the project and have their voices heard. But at the end of the day, what you really want to see is that environmental and social risks are made meaningfully clear to local communities prior to the bulldozer coming up to their homes. And if a sincere effort has, is made, and we've seen successful projects, that generally entails bank officials and borrowers getting boots on the ground and making sure that the people understand the risk. To build trust with investors, you need to have appropriate transparency. Data is the cornerstone of capital markets. Historical data pertaining to the financial performance of investments made by DFIs, good or bad, can deliver a leap forward for capital mobilization. Greater transparency among DFIs is not just desirable, it's essential in this day and time. And the need for disclosure, it's real and it's urgent. <laughs>